over $368,000. I think it's safe to say that when your administration costs are nine times your employee costs, something is out of line and needs to be corrected. Even more puzzling is our sanitation fund. Pleasant Grove hires an outside company to pick up our garbage and recycling items. So we don't own any trucks and we don't have any employees. All we do is write a check and pay the bill. But even though our employee wages are zero, our administrative costs are $235,000. How much could it possibly cost to write a check? This is Don Paz. Whatever it does cost to write that check, it's unfortunate that taxpayers like you and I are paying for these costs in our utility bills. Pulling out my calculator, I found the following. Last year, the total cost of employee wages from all four of our enterprise funds was just under 957000 while our total administrative costs were basically double that, over $1.8 million. That's a lot of money not being directed to our worsening infrastructure. We wish it were that easy. We wish that we could say that we could take, that writing a check was only $235,000 and we could take that money and put it towards the roads. But unfortunately, I, I think they're confused in the numbers. And they have said that they can find funds from our administration costs to take towards the roads. The first point I want to make, and then I'll turn the time over to Dean for, for a minute, is that it's actually illegal to take from these other enterprise funds and put it towards another. We can't take from the water fund and put it towards roads. It's actually illegal. And so we're not sure, again, there's a little confusion on the numbers. Actually, a lot of confusion. And it has a lot of people worried. This video went out to, to residents through an email. And they're stating that we can take this money, that $1.8 million, and use it towards our roads. And that's actually incorrect. I'll let Dean explain. Let me, can I use the whiteboard? Yes, please. So I, I just want to point out, uh, just what, when we talk about administrative fees, what that means. As a city, there's two types of things that we do. I'm going to call these, I'm going to kind of put it in one pot over here, one pot over here. One, these things I'm going to call governmental services. So these would be things like police, fire, parks. That's right. But the difference is these are things that are funded generally with taxes. None of these things, you don't pay to enter the park, you don't pay when the fire department comes, you don't pay when the police department comes. Um, they're just public services that are funded through tax revenues. We have another section in our financial statements, and I'm just going to, for ease, I'm going to call these utility funds. Sometimes you'll see enterprise funds, sometimes we'll call them business type activities. These are things like sewer, water, uh, storm drain, right? Things that are in our utility bill. But then we've also got another set of expenses that the city has that really don't belong into either one. So, for example, as a finance director, when I work for the city as the finance director, um, did I work for the sewer department or the water department? Did I work for the police and fire parks? Well, I work for both, right? And sometimes I was doing stuff for the police, sometimes I was doing stuff for water. And the same would be true with like the city administrator. Um, legal, also included in here are engineering costs. So we have a city engineer, and community development would be one that's up here. You know, he works for community development a lot. He also does a lot of things, probably more things with student with our utility funds than anything. I would say in my case, I spend more time dealing with utility funds than I dealt with the general fund. It's, it's uh, the rules, the county rules dealing with utility funds are harder, budgeting for them is harder, it takes longer to do all of those things. Now, the legal department, they may be the other opposite. Maybe Tina doesn't do a whole lot of things, but doesn't do as much with utility funds as she does for government service. But the question is, where do these costs get charged? Do they get charged to here, or do they get charged to here? And the truth is, we allocate them between the two. So right now, um, and this, this chart's on our website too, I think, about 52% of these costs are going to governmental services and 48% are going to utility funds. Um, anytime you're doing cost allocations, there's some subjectivity to it. What I, I'm, the way I've done it, I, I feel good about the way I do it. Our auditor looks at it every year when, 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 it's, when it's analyzed. Uh, but I think the main thing to point out, even if you disagree with how it's allocated, if we were to change this, 
In other words, if we say, okay, we're going to take, because right now this is $1.7 million. Which, and I should point out, it's this in 2014, I think. In 2010, it was actually a little bit higher. It was about 1.75. So we're actually charging less in administrative costs now than we were five years ago. But the key thing to point out is even if we say, well, this should, it should be really more like 60-40 or something like that. Clearly, it's not going to be 90-10. It's not going to be a huge, huge sum of difference. Because there's things in here that, well, I'll get back to that in a sec, but, but if we change it, if we change this and say, well, we're only going to charge $1.2 million and have $500,000, that means $500,000 more is going to need to be paid for out of here, so we have to cut. So to say that we're cutting, we're saving money by cutting administrative fees, administrative fees we haven't cut anything yet. I mean, I still have to determine what in here needs to be cut, and I haven't heard anything on that yet. Um, and if we're going to say we're going to cut all of this $500,000 out of here, I think that's going to be a huge challenge. I mean, I think we need a finance director, I think we need a city administrator. There's a lot of costs in here that we have zero flexibility with. with. If you talk about what our insurance is, so our liability, not health insurance, but our liability insurance is in there. So you can't really, I mean, our liability insurance is whatever the premium is, it's not really that negotiable. Um, our IT budget, we contract out our IT services rather than have anybody in house. Um, so there's a lot of costs in here that we have, don't have a lot of flexibility in with. So I guess, and, but this is the main point. To say we're going to cut money by cutting admin fees, that's all that saying we're going to cut it out of here. We haven't said what we're going to cut it out. I mean, isn't it, what did you say? I mean, isn't it fair to say, I mean, the only way we are going to save any money, the only way that we're going to reduce any kind of payment by the taxpayer is you be able to affect the level of service. So pick what service it is, and that's what you have to take away. You have to take it away. It's the only way you're going to save any money. And so that's the, that's the question to have. So I've got a question, maybe this is for Lynn down here. Let's say we for Dean. Let's say we take public works and we pull them out of the city. We say, public works, you're on your own. Go and do it. Well, what does that mean to you, Lynn and Dean? Well, it means you've got to get out and find your own uh, people to do all the work that the administration is doing for you. Uh, you've got to develop a whole new set of people to make the checks out, to oversee do the engineering to do all of that stuff that you're paying for uh, has to come again. So it would be ridiculous to double double that up. But you're you're really mean as it is. Yeah. For example, um, Salt Lake County works a lot differently than Utah County. There's a lot of utilities in Salt Lake County that are in my special district. So it's not uncommon to have just the water department, just the water department. And yet they have their own accounting staff, their own legal, you know, they have legal costs, they have an administrator, all of those things. That's not the same. So again, it gets back to when you get this flyer right here that goes with it, you see right an email with a video in it, and it has this information in it. You're kind of scared at first because you, you wonder what is going on in the city of Pleasant Grove. It kind of scares you. I wish it was, like Sid said, it's, it's that easy to just write a link check for that. It's not. It includes people. It includes the level of service that we're dealing with. And like Dean said, if you look on his chart, if you're going to take it out of utility funds, which you can't do in the first place, you've got to then come to your general fund, and that affects the level of service of people. 